But something said, strengthen you in your inner man to help you to continue to move yes, on yes. in this wicked world. Trust in God, follow the Spirit. You can't do this without the Spirit of God. Amen. It don't make sense naturally. For Spirit didn't make all the sense in the world. Yes, yes. <clears throat> It's all in our own communion for not for forsaking this, the assembling of yourself together. The Bible says we should do this as often as we can. I'm praying that we get a better understanding about that. Not make this an option, but a command. God said, assembling yourself together. Don't yes. say it. Yes, sir. Uh, not a suggestion. Mm. Uh, it's a command. Mm. Uh, we have an interesting uh, subject matter this morning. Actually, it's about you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's about all of you. Mm -hmm. You've been broken and been repaired. You're a repairer. Yeah. It's about you. Amen. 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 Right. I'm praying that we leave you with the right mind. Amen. The hearts. The hearts. Now, mm -hmm. all of us don't do that to your life in such a way beyond your understanding. You get this. Uh, I've been told God has put me in different places over the last few weeks. And I've been told by various pastors and bishops and apostles that what we do here, they can't do. So they're trying to bring us on board, make us the extension. Amen. Uh, and you know, when you do the work, there's always some kind of reward. Yes. For us to participate in. It's not about me. Right. Y'all prop me up. They don't see what y'all do. They just see me at the head of it. But I tell them what y'all do. <laughs> so, uh, Lord put it on my heart to try to strengthen you and help you understand who you are and quit looking at things the wrong way. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Father, we need clarity this morning. Yes. We need encouragement. Yes. We need to be strengthened in our hands. Yes. We need to see clearly yes. what it is you have called us to do. Yes. Yes. Now we ask that the message go forth with such simplicity that a fool couldn't hear. I implore you, Lord, to do so. I count it done and I thank you for it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Life has uh, so many different avenues and so much happens on these different avenues. We have learned how to move past, not forget. But move past our weaknesses and ourselves when we do things. Because now, if you've been born again, your life is not your own. And God is a God that places you wherever it is that pleases Him. And if He tries to make withdrawals from you, because he has made a deposit. God yes. uh, don't try to make withdrawal without first depositing something. Yes. If God be for you, mm. yeah. and he called you to do something, mm. he's more than the whole world against you. Uh, Jesus made it clear that he might have missed it. <laughs> when he was raising the dead and called them blind to see in the land and walk, he told them, it's not I mm -hmm. that doeth the work. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. But the Father that yes. sent him. Yes. But if he looked at that the wrong way, yeah. he just said, I can't do this. Oh, right. Can't do it. Because he's been <laughs> looking at himself. And he was looking at the wrong thing. And that's our title. You're looking at it the wrong way. Oh, right. Looking at the wrong way. You don't see what's really going on. I don't know why. You should have enough evidence to see that uh, your life ain't your own, even though you do 
foolish saying at that time, but you know what's sustaining you. If he <laughs> called you out of that darkness <laughs> into this light, it wasn't right. for you. That's right. right. And Moses was stuttering, talking about he can't talk. He told him, who made your mouth? That's right. I'm the one made it. I say, you talk, you talk. You talk, come on. That's right. He was looking at it the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Good job. Yeah. Go to Numbers, our foundational scripture, 13th chapter, verse 33. Now, this is, this is Moses. He uh, sent out some men to go and search out the land. Now, God told them, the land, and y'all going over here. So you can do this. I said you can do it. But they looked at it the wrong way. They looked at the situation and then looked at their capability. And when God not looking at your capability, all he needs is your availability. That's right. Show up. I'm going to show out. <laughs> yeah, you just show up. Yeah. It said, Now and there we saw giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants, and we were in our own sight. See that? Yeah. They were looking at themselves. Yeah. In our own sight as grasshoppers. So they thought they were grasshoppers. It said, So we were in their sight. They think we grasshoppers too. <laughs> <laughs> Man is magical, ain't yeah. it? Yeah. That's why I say it's wicked. Yeah. Who can know it? Yeah. God said one thing, and man said another thing, because they took an assessment of how big something was, so they told themselves they couldn't do it, and then say the people know we can't do it. Mm. They just put God on the back of yeah. right. But God told them this is a mission. Get a gold cave tonight. That's right. And you can have that. Right. Watch this. They searched the land and then they cut down from a branch a cluster of grapes. Mm. And the grapes were so big they had to put them on grapes like a beach ball. Oh, and put them on sticks between them. They said, Yeah, the land is like God said. Said milk and honey. It's just like he said. That right there should have been enough for them to believe. They brought back pomegranates and they brought back figs. But nevertheless, they still were saying they were able to take, take the land when God told them that the land was good and plentiful. This and that the land that they were going to take was productive. It was good land and produced because you could see the fruit that they had. Jump down to verse 27. Watch this. And they told him and said, We came unto the land whither thou sent us, and surely it's both milk and honey, just like you said. And this is the fruit of it, these big grapes. Watch this. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled and then very great. And moreover, we saw the children and they fed. Yeah. See, whenever you keep looking at the circumstances, instead of paying attention to what God said, you're going to always look like this insurmountable. Right. That's right. Right. Yeah. Because you start looking at your own strength. Right. When it's not on you. God said, I'm giving you this land so y'all can praise and serve me and obey my commandments. So I'm not interested in how big they are. I'm not interested in how many of they are. I'm not interested in none of that. I say, I called you out unto myself to perform and do a certain duty. And you can do that regardless of what you think of yourself. Because it's not you that do the work. This is going to be done not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, he said the Lord. It ain't on you. It's on me. Keep looking at yourself the wrong way. You don't even know who you are. You don't believe me. You don't believe me. You don't know how bad you are for at such a time as this. Listen. All these churches, different churches, was talking about this drug addiction thing. I just got to talking to the apostle while I have Bible sitting out there. 
He said, listen, every church got dope fiends in it. Yeah. And we don't know what to do. He said, thank God for you. I said, listen, I will introduce you to them so they'll know who you are and what we do. We got a work to do. Ooh, yes. You got to quit looking at yourself the wrong way. You're looking at yourself the wrong way. God called us out to do a work. God didn't call y'all to tell yourself. Why do you think y'all know how to take a dope pen and make him something that, that God desires? What do you think that's your own? See, you keep looking at yourself. Let's go here. You keep looking at yourself the wrong way. You won't listen to me. You won't listen to me. We've been here going on, what, 15, 16 years? Your life only is getting better. Yeah. And you look back from once you came, the only way somebody knows you got to tell them. That's right. Yeah, that's right. You look at me, ain't no dope things in here. That's right. <laughs> Everybody been delivered. Amen. But we can't get delivered and go home. We need right. delivered to be witnesses. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Watch this. Go to Numbers 13 and 29. See them mics escape. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, they saw the mics. <laughs> The Amorites dwelt in the land of the south, and the Hittites, and the Jezebites, and the Amorites. God don't care nothing about no ice. The ice that's in your life ain't got nothing to do with the work you're supposed to be doing. Come on now. Nothing can stop you but you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You've got to remember it ain't you. It's the Lord. <laughs> Wherever you are in your walk and following Christ, you didn't get yourself there. You're learning how to follow and serve God day by day. That's all that happens. So don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about this. Today you don't have enough in it yeah. for you to deal with it. You try to go into tomorrow and bring that in. That's too much. Today. Way too much. This day. Now watch this. They should have had enough confidence in whatever God said right. because of where they were brought from. Right. What they had been through. Mm -hmm. They seen the Red Sea open. Yep. They got water out of rock. Mm -hmm. They were fed manna. Mm -hmm. Go to Deuteronomy 29 5. You know, you read this through the Bible repeatedly. God is not bragging. Just trying to remind us. And I have led you 40 years in the wilderness. Now oh, watch this, watch this now. You know if you wear the same clothes for 40 years, they're going to wear out. But if your clothes don't wear out, you don't wear for something that's keeping you. He said, your clothes are not waxing old upon you, and thy shoes are not waxing old upon that foot. You can't wear the same shoes for 40 years without the power of God intervening. Yes. Right. They knew this. They knew this. You have not eaten bread, neither have you drunk wine or strong. See that? Keep them sober. Mm. Keeping you, that it ain't 
that power or your might, but by God, you got to know that if he called you and tell you, bring somebody out of what you was in, get busy. Amen. This ain't but a few of us, but we bad. Yes, sir. No good to do it. In that little room right there, that's resurrection. Yeah. 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 How many people in resurrection? You can't count. Can't count. And you still don't see who you are. And I'm telling you, these churches are saying they don't know what they're doing. What are you going to do? A light you've been made. It ain't to be put up on the, a bush. We got to get on the hill with this thing. Man, I need people. I know you have too. I came down to church. You know, they're going to join the same thing. I came to church. I heard something. Somebody said something. I just saw it. Mm -hmm. I'm coming back to this. I say, if anything was said over there to help you come out of that dog, God, you glory. Yeah, you be right. That's right. That's right. I asked, do you go to the animals? Okay, cool. Yeah, we ain't making no guy. We ain't short for membership. Only thing we show them around here is loving one another. Mm -hmm. And we're going to work on that. Amen. Amen. That's what's going to enhance everything else we do. Mm -hmm. God needs us. Yes. We need it. We got to put aside our differences and love each other and do the work. Whatever the work is, that's what we got to do now. We're being called on. Look. If you can't see it, you're looking at it the wrong way, but I'm not. I've never crossed you, I ain't took a dime, I ain't never hit on none of y'all, or misused nobody's kids. Trust me then. Amen. Trust me, drop all them differences, and let's go. God trying to take us somewhere, I'm telling you. If one shot, we all gonna shot, else there'll be no shot. Ain't no, I'm, I'm finna see by me. I'm finna see by us. But I need us to come on. Amen. Doors is being, finna, getting ready to be open. I'm praying that whatever it is, that it be enough to where if you want to, you can quit your job and work here. Amen. Yeah. I've seen it in other places. Why not turn? See, I don't look at it like that. I look at it God and labor. Yeah. Now, if I look at us and how many it is and look at well, we probably can't. Ain't no problem in nothing. <laughs> Jesus didn't have a twin. Mm -hmm. Turn the world upside down. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't know how to beat people off, though. You get the chance. Look at Kenneth's Street. Yeah. Yeah. On YouTube. <coughs> and look at the work. A whole city is bent over. Mm -hmm. You sit in the shine like new money. Uh -huh. But uh, God is making a way for us to be exposed. Amen. And they're going to come. You know why? See, you can be a uh, a mousetrap in the middle of the focus. And people will come if you got something they want. Mm -hmm. You got something to come out of You don't even know that. <laughs> they want what you got. Well, and they don't know what you got. Mm -hmm. You don't believe you do. Mm -hmm. All right, that's you. I'll go first. <laughs> I'll go first. Then you act like you've been doing all the time. <laughs> That's what you do. It's all right. You go somewhere and talk and I keep talking to them. Yeah, it's good. You sit here trembling. You can't believe what I'm telling you about yourself. When you, listen, let me tell you something. When you talk to somebody that's on the road and you're trying to help them, right? You can't see God moving. How that thing just get coming out your mouth. You don't even know what you're going to say. And when you get through, you can feel that adrenaline is yeah. on. You think that's yours, don't you? And you think you've been given that just for you to have yourself. Why do you have that? Right. 
God gives that connected part of the vineyard that we work in. And the harvest, true addiction, is plenty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's pitiful that anybody here, sitting here, with, the, with that been impacted with the power to get people out of darkness, drug addiction. We fix dope things. Yes. That's what y'all ask somebody to fix it all. Repairing. That's what we do. We repair those things. There's a lot of churches called the repairs of the breach, but I'm talking about the original. They talking. We working. They just talking. That's right. You don't believe me? You got somebody else. Sit them down here, and if they do what we say, watch, we're going to send you back our new priest. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Listen, you might not even be able to know me except for some paint trick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. I'm telling you how bad it is. You don't believe me. You're looking at it the wrong way. Watch this. Go to Deuteronomy 8, chapter 4, verse. That Raymond, he's telling them again. Because see, it's hard. You have to keep saying it if you don't believe it. Even though they see it. Y'all see what God did to you. Yeah. Yeah. From homelessness to a house. Mm -hmm. I ain't come out no problem. Right. Yeah. That's right. Don't just got a problem. If we settle in that, it's God. Yes, sir. Right. That's right. Can't smoke in there. You can't use it. The house you go to to get out. Watch this, thy raiment that you clothed, wax not over upon thee, neither did thy foot swell. You walk around so much party, you know your feet swell up. <laughs> <laughs> thou shalt also consider in thy heart, just remember this, that as a man chastises his son, so the Lord thy God chastises thee. You need to be chastised. Yeah. That's why I get up here, I hit me too. Don't get mad with me. See, that is a part of growing up. Yeah. It's like your little kid. You got to correct them. Look, raise them up, show them the way to go, right? That's all it is. God has shown us, but he take his word to do it. When you get mad at me, I'm going on so much. Ain't nobody this. You go there and tell them people your testimony. They're going to tell you you can't come back here. <laughs> they scared of you. We got a good... Resurrected church. Y'all yes, yes. part of me too of something great. Yeah. I guess we were just going through the wilderness and everything has been happening, supposed to been happening to get us in shape. Yeah. We're in shape now. Yeah. But you gotta quit looking at it the wrong way. Amen. We gotta love each other. That's what the power is gonna be. Yeah. That's what's gonna make us strong. See, one can do so much, but two. Huh? To put 10,000 in flight. And that's how we got to get rid of them differences. Everybody should be in shape that whoever worked with somebody and he gets sick or something or something happened in his life that he can't control, somebody should be in the spirit, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. If one falls, see, there ain't nothing wrong for the other one that'll catch you. Read this. I'm telling you what you got to do. You ain't so cute. You ain't so smart. That you go against this and your life going to be all right. You didn't call. You've been in power. That ain't yours. Don't stand in God's glory because you know how to talk to somebody and bring them into something that'll give them. That ain't yours. God keeps telling them. Consider in thy heart that as a man chastises his son, so the Lord thy God chastises thee. Therefore, thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God for what? To walk in his way and to fear him, which really means respect. Yes. Mm -hmm. You ain't smarter than what I'm telling. I ain't smarter than this. You better quit it. Better quit it. For them can't go on and show up. Yeah. God moved his hand and stepped back in and tried. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And you'll know it. You know why? Because you've tasted the goodness of the Lord. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. it. Yeah. You should have yeah. helped with your hand to it. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on. 
own church. Yes. Come on, I ain't asking nobody to make me no bishop. I ain't out looking for that. Where that come from? Me, a bishop? <laughs> I ain't counting myself worth. But I told him, I said, listen, anything you see that got something to do with goodness, I got some people that prop me up. You understand? Name this thing is us. Yes, right. Yeah. So I said, listen, we ain't changing our name. We ain't Baptists, we ain't Methodists, we ain't Pentecostal, Seventh-day Adventists, we believers. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we do over here. So but now if you got any dope in he told me, he said, listen, all churches of today got drug addicts in them. I know it. Satan is this. And let me tell you something. See, y'all know this when you heard it a thousand times, but what you don't know is what you have in your mouth, they ain't heard it. We hear it amongst ourselves. So you think it's just a little something. It ain't. That's why anybody do come by here, you understand me, that listen and let what we saying in the end change. Yeah. You'll see them come back again. Where did that come from? You're looking at it the wrong way. Go to Nehemiah 9, chapter 21st verse. Yea, 40 years didst thou sustain them in the wilderness so that they lack nothing. I just got to talk to you, remember this? This morning, I ain't gonna call her out front of all of I love. Her. But she wouldn't even tired. I don't need that, I can't stand it. If I tie, I ain't gonna have none. I said, you keep up with that attitude, you ain't gonna have none. <laughs> now she give up out of her purse, her wallet, and everything else. And wouldn't, wouldn't stop. Here! Right here! Not old, and his feet swell not. 
Moreover, thou gavest them kingdoms and nations and didst divide them into corners so they possessed the land of Sion and the land of the king of Hezbon and so forth, so on. You got your house. Um, God bless your mind to know how to get your house. You got your apartment, and God be your mind how you keep that holy. Huh? Yeah. Mm. Look at your clothes. Look down. Yeah. yeah. Ain't nobody breathing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Ain't nothing out of breathing. Let's do a pass. Stand up. Please, if you repair this stuff, let's keep the seat. Amen. 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 Church. 
You keep looking at it the wrong way. It's not a little old bitty light thing. It's nothing to play with and sit on. It's for you to work. Yes. And if you do the work, it's for you to work. And then you got pay. Mm -hmm. I would dare live my life without somebody in it that I'm helping to come right. away from drugs and into Christ. Amen. You used to be just off the of drugs. Then it increased yeah. into Christ. God has given us a message so simplistic the fool couldn't miss it. We speak in kind of the natural. All of us now when we talk to somebody, we think it's funny. Mm -hmm. yeah. That ain't ours. It's been given to us to do the work. Many of us come in reading no Bible, mm -hmm. but the way that God is working through me, mm -hmm. it incited you. Yes, yes. 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 Let me find out what this man is. That ain't mine. It's for us. Yeah. And everything you got is for me. Right. And when you don't do the work, you cheat me. Come on. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It's true. Well, watch this. Go to Numbers 13 and 1. Let's go to that. And the Lord spake unto the Moses, saying, Send thou men that they may search the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel. Of every tribe of their fathers shall you send a man, every one a ruler of Moshe. Now, God said this. Mm -hmm. That should have been enough that God was with them. Out of all the drug addicts that you know, God chose you to come forward. And do a work. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yes, sir. God said you should live and not die. Amen. Look at you. Mm. Oh, you should have been a bad place. Yes, sir. You couldn't get out. You should entangle. Yeah. Look at you. Not only are you out, mm. but you get people out. Some of us ain't moving. Because you're looking at it the wrong way, you got the wrong with you. It ain't going to feed you to it. You get busy, and God will show you what to do. Yeah. You've been on, you sit sitting with me, quick piece of news for the first time. They say, obey those that have authority. Yeah. If you ain't going to do it, they get you somewhere where you will. Make support for the needs here. Go wherever else you want to go. I'm, listen, I got a couple places I go sometimes, but don't put nothing in front of this. This is a part of your work. Because when people ask you to help them, where are you going to send them? You going to send them somewhere else? Or you going to send them where you were born at? But well, then you got to show up when they see you there. If it's so, if it's so great, why are you going to hear I ain't said I'm going nowhere else. I ain't trying to be no tyrant. I'm telling you the foundation that has to be laid for the work to be done. People, I call up us. I just happen to be in the leader's position. Now I don't even like that word. I just happen to be in the position that God placed me in as the pastor of his church. And I've been exposed from going to different churches and talking. And so they know what I do. And so they ask me to come and do certain things. And now, I guess, uh, what I've been sowing, I'm getting ready to reap. But it ain't just been me sowing. It's us. But we got the wrong understanding. We're looking at this the wrong way. It ain't about you, it ain't about me. It's about God and what he called us to do. Many of us were people that didn't go to church. How did you get here? <laughs> How did you get here? Right. Not interested in Christ or nothing else. Not even in love with him. Yes. I hear y'all. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. See, it's always a higher level. And you got to move. You stay in your comfort zone, ain't no more manner. Right. That's right. Where you 
better be redundant if you don't come on. That's right. Yeah. <coughs> mm. Quit thinking you got to do it. Quit thinking all the obstacles in front of you will stop you from doing it and just say in the Lord and do it. Yeah. And watch. Don't see why I got something called grace. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Man, I wish y'all hear me this morning because I'm telling you, people yeah. sing for us. Yeah. People yeah. sing for us. Watch this. Thirteen to one, right? Mm -hmm. We just went over that. Now, listen to me. If you keep looking at yourself, what you can't do, you ain't gonna be able to do it because I work, or oh, I already got a lot going on. And look at this Bible and see what Christ had going on. Yeah, so if you follow him, right? Go ahead and shut your mouth. Got how much you got and all that. These shoes you tie. Know, it's not fair. Because what's happening is you got the wrong spirit. Out of all the people that was out in the wilderness in 40 years, God kept their clothes and all that. Guess what? They were two golden years. You know why? They had a different spirit. Yeah. Yeah. They said if God sent huh. we can do this. That's right. Uh huh. We can do this. Then the two go in. Watch this. Go to Numbers 13 and 30. Because everybody else was looking at it like we came. Because they were looking at themselves. That's what I'm telling you. Quick. Looking at yourself and remember the God that has brought you to where you are. Now you didn't get here by yourself. Where you at right now? Guess how it was. Day by day. That's how you got here where you at today. And that's how it's going to be. But guess what? Each day, you know what you've been given? A godly reprieve. You didn't do it. You know what you're thinking about doing to something and you told you don't do that. Don't go left, go right. And look, yeah. keep straight. Don't be looking over there to your left, but you just keep it. And you did. Yeah. Now, look where you at now. Yeah. God ordered up your step. Yeah. It ain't even you to order your own step. That's right. Anything good in your life, the glory belongs to God. That's right. You didn't have no good sense. That's right. Putting That's stuff right. in your mouth, setting fire to it. Yeah. Talking about you getting high. Now it don't make sense to you to get high. Right. Where that come from? Right. Watch this. And Caleb still the people before Moses said, man, let us go now. Yep. Yeah, right. But we wait now. <laughs> let us go up at once and possess it. Why? Because we aim one. Why? Because God is what he said we're going over. God said we can do this. Not me, but God, the God we serve. The same one that parted the water and dropped down. That God. The one that changed your mind from having to get high to contest getting high. That one. The one that changed your mind about wearing dirty clothes and that's all right. That God. That, that part of the Red Sea, part of your Red Sea, brought you out of your Egypt. Yeah. When you was in bondage, yeah. when you were doing things you didn't want to do, yeah. thought you had to do them, yeah. but didn't know how not to do them. Now you know how not to do them. Yeah. And you've been empowered by grace not to do it. No works of deeds of your own. You well able. We can do this. Got to drop all those foolish differences. Hey, let me tell you something. Ain't nobody in here better than nobody. That's right. That's in the regular mind. That's the soup. 
the half do. How she that? Maybe you need that little diamond writing in a box. That might not be really better for the check. All of us come out the mud. Out the mud and in the blood. That's why you can't tell.
Exactly. Since you're so mature, then you all know that you that don't go like that. God did this. Yeah. You just got the wrong view. That's all. Looking at each other the wrong way. You can some of y'all got families with brothers and sisters that you don't like, but you got to handle them. There's something wrong with them, you got to deal with them. In Christ, see, if you mature, you all be able to deal with each other. Because we know how to go about it. Admonishing one another. Loving one another. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing about how see society say stuff that don't fit the way you're trying to live. Right. right. Your feelings is not. So it is if they in line with what God says. Other than that, it don't mean nothing. Mm, that's right. Don't mean nothing. So a lot in this Bible that goes against your feelings. Jeremiah said, he don't feel like saying nothing else. <laughs> right. And I haven't said nothing. <laughs> God said, yes, you <laughs> That's right. What's our brother's name? What on the boat crew? John. 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 Say something wrong. Yes, sir. Say, God, listen, we, we know it's him. Right. We don't want no trouble. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> man, man, man. Don't know, bro. Do that, don't know. See, when you try it, you know, you've been caught. You've been washed. Yes. You've been blood washed. You've been spirit filled. And then you didn't do nothing like it. Your life is no longer your own. You shouldn't have signed up. That's right. Amen. It ain't yours. The little old benefits that you get make you think it's you. <laughs> Listen, got to read. Your car, your house, your clothes, your cash in the bank, your luxury. Look what God said. I know you need things. Yeah, right. I'm going to see if you can have them. You didn't get them. Some of y'all got watches, you still got them. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>
Then get rid of you. Why? You got a filthy spirit. Right. You walk around like that, your spirit is still. You're looking at the situation the wrong way. You ain't been called for you. You've been called to work for God. Amen. Yeah. Watch this. You know, giants do come down. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. no matter how big that thing look, mm -hmm. like you can't do what God said do, they got to come down. Mm -hmm. Not you got to quit. They got to come down. You know, David said, See, he remembered, like you need to remember. They would say, you know, a bow and a lion can struggle my sheep. Right. God promised me yeah. to take the lion and the bow, take the lion from them. He said, I know it wasn't me. Right. He said, so this giant Goliath, how can I not be in our way? He disrespected Israel and the God of Israel. He said, he got to come down. And that's the attitude we got to have about whatever obstacle the situation that's hindering us. It's not a hindrance. They've got to come down. Mm -hmm. God is able to empower us to bring things into the order that he's looking for out of us. Now it's time for us to go further. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long are we going to stay here and do the same thing? All, this, uh, every, all what we're doing is what? 15 years, 14, 16 years is elementary now. Yeah. yeah. And if we don't move, it's going to become redundant. Mm -hmm. It's so much work to be done. But it ain't many labels. I'm telling you, you can trust me. I, I think I'm trustworthy. Amen. These churches don't know what to do with that. Mm -hmm. But that don't take away from them because what they've been given to do, the apostle, you know, his father's apostle him. He passed, but he used to be in a way of preaching and stuff. I don't mean agreement with it, but he helped a lot of people. I agree with some of the things he was saying out the Bible, just like somebody ain't gonna agree with everything I say. That's why I try to say what I what everything, not some things. It's biblical, mm -hmm. and that ain't gonna make everybody be in agreement with me. And I know that I ain't nothing with met a pastor out to and agree with everything he said. But he had some things that he was saying that edified and strengthened him. And this man is interested in us. And he don't need us in, 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 uh, financially, spiritually, or nothing else. He is doing a work. Amen. And he took me in and showed me his whole church. He bought, they bought a mall oh. and turned it into a church over on Columbus. Oh, yeah. And so he took me, it took me about an hour to show me everything. And then got about Five, uh, five million dollars worth of equipment. Mm -hmm. He got a green room that God blessed him. And all everything he showed me, he said, God did this. That's right. God, yeah. everything that's what made yeah. me get me, he got my ear. Right. Say, he didn't forget. That's right. 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 He got a green room that can make it look like you're standing on water, a mountain, whatever. Well. <laughs> preach and preach from that. And he offered this to us to get us out there and get us exposed. That's all we need. He told me, he said, all you need is exposure. Mm. Tell me, y'all, when you got your own lead. Because you keep looking at it out your own eyes. You see yourself as grasshoppers. And you're not. You're a special kind of people, man. We special. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, when you tell our testimony, Somebody gonna get saved. Somebody gonna get saved in the matter where hope yes. springs up. Yes, sir. And then the evidence is when they watch you. Yeah. That what you said is real. Mm -hmm. And you become living evidence. Yeah. That makes somebody say, I can do it too. What's wrong with your church? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You keep looking at yourself the wrong way. I'm telling you, you're looking at the wrong way. You're looking at the mirror, then stand and say, I'm a bad sister in the law. That's right. I'm yes, telling you. you. I'm going to be up here bragging. I'm just be taking what I want. I get up here and say, I'm a bad man in Christ. I'm a healer. And I know it. 
I've been doing this long enough to where all them doubts and wonders that Satan tried to bring me. Come on. I cast that down. That's gone. That's right. That's right. You got to cast that stuff down. He's going to come and try to stop it. But I'm telling you, you're wrong, wrong, bad, bad, buck naked truth. Yes. You bad. Your life's safe. You ain't no grass out. You ain't no grass out. Watch this. Go to first sound. 17th chapter. Verse 34. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear and took the lamb out of the flock. And I went out after it and smote it and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and killed him. Mm -hmm. And then he goes on to say that God did this. Mm -hmm. That's why the giant is coming down. Yeah. He had the right perspective. He knew all that he had done, mm -hmm. it wasn't him. Right. You gotta remember that. Mm -hmm. It ain't on you. It's on God. You can't get no bad soul. You couldn't get your soul. Mm -hmm. But through the power of God. Come on. Yes. Yeah, huh? And yeah. the revelation. See, guess what? See, Paul said, Paul said, I said it no man's feet. I'll put it in the will. He said, that which I know. Christ is in you. What we know, how to get from that, that's in you. It was installed. Yeah. Yeah. To do a work. Mm -hmm. I won't be for you long. I'm just praying that we be not these people that God asks the question. How long will this people provoke you? Mm -hmm. How long will we gonna provoke you? That are not coming together. See, what he's saying is, he's telling them to do things, and they don't want to do it, and they got all this evidence, red seed and everything. And so now he's angry. Mm -hmm. He's saying, how long y'all gonna provoke me? Mm -hmm. How long will we continue to be divided? Mm -hmm. How long is it gonna take for us to understand that we can't live life to its fullness that God got for us if we don't love each other. Right. How long? What's it going to take for you to get to that point and understand that? That you, we have to love each other. I preach it, I don't know how many times to go to your brother. But some of us still think we're going to the altar and just lay our gifts up there praying and asking God for something and think that it's going through. Your prayer and stuff ain't going through. Look, it says it's not going to go through. Let's straighten this mess out. Let's straighten it out. Just straighten it out. Straighten it out. Please straighten it out. We got this. It ain't no, it ain't that big, no way. Come on, Ain't nothing big. Nobody shot you, stuck you up, snatch your purse, break you or nothing. <laughs> I'm telling you, these people waiting on us. They wait to see what you got. Then they don't hide. But in their part of the vineyard, they're doing what they're supposed to do. That man is doing. Yeah, he's bringing people in out of the penitentiary, setting them up. If he, he even got a sound room. He got the floors dead so the sound can't go nowhere. You got to go through two doors that's fully foam. So the time, so if you can rap clean, mm. you can rap. Mm. He made my way. But to understand, we we sitting here with all and look, all these churches are missing this. Mm. And we got it. Mm. We got it. Yeah. Ain't no doubt about it. Yeah. We got it up in him. Yeah. If you all know it, and you come in here yeah. and do what we tell you to do. You don't get off no power of power of God. Right. I ain't no bad That's right. Amen. 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 Giants got to come down. Amen. Amen. Y'all know no bad I'm telling you. 
We got to quit provoking it. God sent for us. Yeah. Watch this. We're going to teach on this in fullness next week, God provide. But I'm just touching on it. Go to 1 Chronicles, and I'm done. The 12th chapter, verse 32. David was fighting, he was in a battle. The people that he was fighting, and the people that was fighting with him was losing. Because they didn't have a full understanding of how to handle that battle. They just was willing to fight. <laughs> now watch this. And the children of Issachar. Issachar was a chief. And he only had 200 men. But yeah. well, watch this. Which were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. And the heads of them were 200. Well, no one job. But they understood the time. Mm -hmm. And they knew what to do. Y'all understand what's going on. Yeah. Drug addiction on the high level. People scared to take a pill now because we got $10 on the way. And watch this. Y'all understand that, don't you? Yes, sir. And you know what to do. Yes, sir. I'm done. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Thank God. I want to thank those who did it this morning. I'm saying, and I pray that something will say it to strengthen you in your walk. But I want to say to Jesus Christ, if you happen to have somebody in your family who's wayward and bound by drugs, just drop them off here. Yeah, that's Let them right. talk to them. And if you're listening, when we send them back, you'll see a new group. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Father, we thank you for the word this morning. It was your word, chapter and verse. Now I pray that it go forth, fall on good ground and not stone, and take root and cause us to come together, love one another, understanding that we must. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 You gather up. If there's anybody here that don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, you want to come forth and be a part of this wonderful way of life, you may do so. You want prayer? Something was said, and I pray it was heard by others. That if anything and say, we bind you and all your work and deeds, we shall not snatch this out yes. from our existence this yes. morning. Yes. Father, I, I pray that there's anything here that we're supposed to be following and uh, be done this morning. Yes. Uh, I ask you to have mercy. Yes, Lord. And you said the prayer of the prayer, man. Yeah. I stand in the gap for it right now. Me and the church, we are in agreement with this. Yes, Lord. I have yes. this soul. Yes. In Lord. Jesus' name. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. And he's strengthened to come and to listen. Yes, Lord. And to sit amongst us. Yes. And become as we are. Yeah. Born again. Born again. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen.